to just spectacular and so cold. I can hardly breathe. That's because we are so high up. We're at the top of a beautiful volcano called Mount Nyiragongo in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Wow. Look at the red hot bubbling lava lake. It's amazing. You don't want to fall in that lake. Let me step back a little. That's coming from deep inside the earth, from the mantle, the earth's middle layer. It's actually rock that is so hot, it has become a liquid called magma. Nyiragongo is actually the most voluminous lava lake in the world. From inside the earth? Wow, why is that happening? Usually, magma is found underneath the Earth's surface in the Earth's mantle. However, sometimes the tectonic plates move on the Earth's surface, which makes the pressure in the mantle build up so much that it forces magma to rise to the surface of the Earth. As it pushes for the surface, it finds weak spots in the Earth and then explodes out as a dangerous volcanic eruption. Then. Hot lava flows down the mountain, leaving huge hazardous ash deposits. Wow, that's crazy. So why is it bubbling now? That bubbling liquid, lake of molten lava, tells us that this is an active volcano. The volcanic activity on this mountain is always going on. But at the moment, it's only happening inside the crater. Some volcanoes are dormant. That means they will never erupt again. What? You mean it could erupt now? The last time it erupted was 2002. So that's nearly 20 years ago. On average, it erupts every 30 years. Phew, we have another 10 years to go. The last time it erupted, there were good warning systems. So 400,000 people living down in Goma managed to escape and evacuate. Yet sadly, 245 people still lost their lives. And Goma town changed again forever. There we can see Mama Flora. She's remembering what happened. Eh, it must be nearly 20 years ago now. January 2002, a few months before there had been an earthquake. Then one late afternoon, there was a really bad smell in the air. I now know that this was something called sulfur. The earth started shaking and the mountain started roaring. There was an enormous bang. I looked up at the volcano and saw flames rising. I knew we had to get away as soon as we could. It was becoming hard to breathe. Oh, we all started coughing. <coughs> the lava started to pour like rivers of fire coming from the mountain. We managed to escape, yet we left everything. We lost all our possessions. The lava covered a fifth of the city. After a few months, we came back and started to rebuild our city. There's still lava everywhere. But it has cooled now, so it looks like hard rivers of rock in streets. Wow, what a story. I can't believe how many people are living there when it's so dangerous. Yes, volcanoes erupting are very scary and dangerous. It's the gases that can kill as well as the rocks flying through the air and the lava being ejected. But the volcanic soils are the most fertile and agriculture thrives. It's amazing how active our planet is and how humans and nature can coexist and occasionally clash. I now see there are both positives and negatives of living near a volcano. 